the Gaston Openings Fan 15 back with you once again with the Vivicius update for September 27th, 2018. I went to a thrift store today and scored a match total of 16 of them. I'm going to start off with the four Universal Vivicius I picked up. I can, I can make, not do tucking. I'm just going to show you the tapes, the years, and print dates, yeah. The land before time. Alright, this is a 1994 movie. This is the 1994 VHS. It's rated G in 74 minutes. Ugh. I did like this movie, so I picked this up. Print date is the 5th week of 1996. So I'm guessing this is a late printing. And someone wrote Johnson on the tape, but the family used to have it, and it's mine now. The Land Before Time 3, The Time of the Great Giving. Alright, this movie's from 1995, and it's probably the 1995 VHS. But the but the tape, however, has the universal sticker covering it up. The fifty second week of nineteen eighty five. So I'm definitely gonna have to peel the sticker off and see the universal logo. The land before ten, four journey through the mists. Alright, this is also a 1985 movie, and this is a 1985 VHS. The third one's G in 71 minutes, and it's also rated G in its 1020s. Yeah, very rare in Clable. We was lucky to pick this up. Print date is the 44th week of 1996. Yeah. I didn't even recognize that this tape was an ink label. The rare ink label. The Land Before Time 6, The Secret of Saurus Rock. Alright, the movie's from 1998, and this is the 1998 VHS. It's rated G in 77 minutes. Print date is the 48th week of 1998. <laughs> now we're gonna go on to the three Disney tapes I picked up. Which is a Peter Pan movie. I don't know what year this was from. But my guess is 1953. It's Gene, it's 76 minutes. I live with the tape label, however, is from 1990, I believe. Their print date, yeah, March 31st, 1990. I didn't even notice that this tape is, is from from the 1990s, if this is a 1953 movie. Aladdin, 1993 VHS, I believe. Alright, the movie's from 1993, and, and this is the 1993 VHS. G and it's about 90 minutes. Yeah, here's the label. August 8th, 1993. And this tape definitely needs to get rewound. Tuck Everlasting. Alright. The mo I don't know what the movie, what the year was from. I'm guessing it's 1990 or 2000-something. This is a blockbuster purchase. Originally purchased on May 11th, 2000-something. PG for some violence, 90 minutes. Very rare sticker label. Can't read the print date, though. 
is blocked by this Blockbuster label. And yes, this was a rental from Blockbuster. I'll try and get rid of this label when I start doing the opening, okay? The little rascals. I don't notice. Why does it always have to be it like that? Oh well. The episodes are hunky donkey and spressing up. Oh, and it's it's from 1989. And this is the 1989 VHS. No print date. And this tape is gonna have to be rewound too. It's a wonderful life. 1990-something VHS, I believe. Are you fucking kidding me? Why the fuck? Is this always that? Alright. The movie's from 1947, and this is the 1993 VHS. It's 132 minutes. For some reason, when I do this, it's always like that. I don't know why the fuck did this always goes upside down. Yeah, rare ink label. Very lucky to have another one of those. August 31st, 2000. And this tape is definitely going to need to be rewounded. Now we're going to go on to the two Paramount tapes I picked up. Charlie Brown Christmas. A Charlie Brown Christmas is... Is a 2001 reprint of this 1986 VHS. The specials from 1965. And this is 25 minutes. Not rated. Look at the print date. It says the 29th week of 2001. So I'm going to play this tape and see what it has, though. Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. 1988. Something VHS, I believe. Alright. The movie's from 1989, and this is a 2001 VHS. It's PG, and it's 107 minutes. Here's the tape with the unlabel. No print date. Guessing this is a 19... 93 VHS, I believe. Yeah, it's kind of 1993. Now we're going to go on to the one Jim Henson tape I picked up. The Muppet Christmas Carol. 1993. Alright, the movie's from 1993, and this is the 1993 VHS. It's G, and it's 89 minutes. These are very hard to get out, so. If you can't see the print date, it's September 27th, 1983. This tape would have turned 25 years old today if it's September 27th, 2018. And if the tape was printed September 27th, 1983, this tape would have been 25 years old today. It would have been turning 25. Now we're going to go on to the one singer tape I picked up. The Country Mouse and the City Mouse Adventures. However, this one is a Reader's Digest tape. This is 24 minutes. If you can't see it, it's August 28th, 2000. Printed three days apart. For my It's a Wonderful Life. How oh, the Grinch Stole Christmas. I believe. I believe this is a 1992, I believe. You cannot see it. It's... The 42nd week of 1991. It's 
I'm guessing this is the 1981 VHS. Now, for the two Warner Brothers tapes. The Lord of the Rings. 2000. Alright, the movie's from 2001, and this is the 2001 VHS. It's PG, and it's 133 minutes. Print date, August 29th, 2001. Now, here's the last VHS. Presumed Innocent. Alright, the movie's from 1990, and this is the 1998 VHS. Arf, and it is 127 minutes. However, this is a 1999 reprint. December 15th, 1999, even though it's a 1998 VHS. At least I think it is. Alright. This is my VHS update for August, I mean September 27th, 2017. I gotta go now. Peace.